Hi everyone, Michael Tiny Saul. It is Sunday, May 15th, early in the morning. This is final management of the stock trading watch list for the week of May 9th, 2011. Let's start with NetTees. Only two stocks left on the list. NetTees had the 4713 entry. It fired off right here on Tuesday. Stops got moved to break even. Half was plus off plus two, which happened Friday on the dip. And then stops were moved to lock in plus one, which happened on the bounce. So it's a total of three points divided by uh, two parts is one and a half points. The original risk was two points, so it wound up being a three-quarter of a unit gain. Now, I got an email from somebody, and they asked me, well, Tiny, you know, why would you take seven-tenths-ish of a unit on Transocean? I mean, I don't understand. Why don't you wait for at least one unit? Well, I don't go into the trade. The video doesn't go into the trade, because that's what all these trades are for, from the, being managed by the rules of the video. Okay, it doesn't go in saying, okay, I'm going to risk a unit and try to get a fraction of that unit as a gain. No, it wants to get a multiple of that of that unit. It wants to get 20, 30 units. It doesn't always happen. It rarely happens, okay? Uh, I, since I've been doing the video, I, I don't think we've gotten a 20-unit winner, all right? But, you know, this, this video talks about short-term trades. You can call it swing trading. You can call it day trading. I think it's somewhere in the middle. Okay, uh, yeah, it's technically swing trading because it lasts for more than a day most of the time, but it's also quick in and out. All right, so your unit is what your unit of risk is, and that could be whatever you decide one percent, half percent, two percent, three percent, five percent. I think personally, and this is just my opinion, that anybody who would risk five percent of their portfolio in each and every trade is a little crazy, but that's just my opinion, especially if you go into a a trading slump, which does happen, all right, but whatever your unit of risk in is, that's how you measure the reward. So if you're risking 2% per unit and you make a unit, that means you've made 2%. Or it's, that's at least what it should be, okay, but it's up to you. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. So I, I didn't plan net tees out to only make one and a half points or to only make three quarters of a unit gain. It just happened that this is how the trade played out. And, you know, in my opinion, I'm all for managing the trade aggressively once it moves in your favor. I mean, this was a textbook trade. We got the impulse down. We waited a day, which for once actually worked. A lot of times we'll say we'll wait a day and then the stock will move without us. It triggered. We got to move stops to break even. And we just hung on, hung on, hung on, finally took out the plus two. And then on the bounce, we got stopped out. But at plus two, that meant the reward had equaled what the original risk of the trade was. So once that happens, in my opinion, it's time to move stops. You can do whatever you want, okay? But the video manages it as once the reward is hit, the stops are moved, the stops are moved, the stops are so moved. So yeah, would I have loved to see this close at the lows and then take a dive on Monday? Of course, but it doesn't always happen that way. And rather than giving back hard-fought gains and any gain you make in this market, Okay, uh, it def definitely takes some effort, especially with what's been going on. It's been a complete stock picker's market. Half the stocks are going one way, half are going the other. And uh, I don't just mean the inv inverse ETFs against ETFs, right? Some leaders are breaking down. Some are continuing to go higher. So, you know, in my opinion, management is the best defense here. So, uh, look, like I said before, I don't come in setting up a trade saying, oh, I hope this gets stopped out for a fraction of the risk. That's ridiculous. But once the reward equals a risk, in my opinion, it's time to move stops. I'm going to talk all about this in the money management video that I actually finished up the PowerPoint this weekend. It looks fantastic. Can't wait to get it on video. And those videos, introduction to trading and money management and uh, intro to charting, they're all going to be free and streaming on the new website when that is finally launched. So uh, stay tuned for that. You guys can have access to those uh, educational videos. So NetTees is gone. The second one is GGC. And GGC was a half a unit. Okay, 3096 entry, 3256 stop loss. Okay, gain of 70 cents, move stops, supposed to say of, but it doesn't. So that's achieved, stops will break even. Did not hit on Friday, so it's still in. Half off plus $1.70. So that's a little bit more than a quarter of a unit because this was only a half a unit. And then we're looking for the second half off at $24.95. This will be rolled over to the stock trading watch list for the week of May 16th, 2011, which I will do later on. That's it. 
Have a great rest of your Sunday. I'm going to hit the hay, and I will talk to everybody in the next video.